Oh boy, howdy, is it a glorious day. The governing body, in a shocking move, has finally woken up to an optics problem they've had for decades. While I was still a Jehovah's Witness, people would often scratch their heads at why the governing body members and the governing body helpers were 90% white guys. And finally, they have changed all of this because yesterday they announced two new governing body members that are going to change the game. We're talking tall, dark, and handsome, baby. I present to you the new governing body members. Ladies, we got the top six answers on the board. Name something that you know about the governing body. Christy. Black. They're black. Okay. Oh, God! No, God, please, no! <laughs> oh, run the intro. So when I saw the two new governing body members, I just asked myself, like, how how bad is it amongst the governing body and their helpers? Like, just how few uh, variety is there? And uh, I just wanted to find pictures of all of them. So there's uh, about 40 of them, and I think I was able to find pictures for all but one or two of them. So anyway, I will uh, put their faces on screen now, and I will read off their names. We have John Ekron, Paul Gillis, Troy Schneider. Gerald Grizzle, great name, Patrick LaFranca, Daniel Molchan, Ralph Walls, Jeffrey Winder. Jeffrey Winder is one of the new governing body members. If you guys wanted to know his name because I forgot to say it in the intro, boom, that is him, Jeffrey Winder. Robert Butler, Harold Corkin, Gaius Glockstein, Donald Gordon, Robert Lucioni, Alex Rainmuller, David Sinclair. Gary Barrow, Joel Dellinger, Gage Flegel. Gage Flegel is your other new member of the governing body, so they're going to have to update this because uh, the apostates come out with our content super quick. But yes, Gage Flegel, he is the other member. Uh, Anthony Griffin, Seth Hyatt, Christopher Maver, uh, Ballister Jr., Perla. Now, I couldn't find his picture, but there was someone, he, there was a junior on his name, and they did an interview uh, on JW Broadcasting about uh, with someone with the exact same name. So I'm guessing that the junior, them having the same name, the fact that he was on the broadcast, I think that tells us everything that we need to know. Uh, Jonathan Smith, William Turner Jr., Leon Jr. Weaver. Uh, Ronald Curzan, Kenneth Flodine, William Maliphant, Mark Numair, David Schaefer, Nicholas Aladis, uh, Pierre Christensen, Robert Serenko, Kenneth Goodburn, James Manns, Isaac Marias, Clive Martin, Leonard Myers, Gene Smalley, and Hermanus Van Selm. I probably butchered some of those names, but I found it really funny when I just saw all of their names on like the screen together when I downloaded all of their pictures. And I was like, good lord. So out of the 40 people, uh, only four are, are, are black elders. Now, the the funny thing is, is when they made this announcement, um, I was like, okay, that's kind of funny, ha ha, he he. And that's about all I could do as far as a video was concerned. But then I kind of stumbled on something that was like unofficial new light. So let me break that down for you because I think all of us had been speculating on who might be the next members of the governing body, but I think we can actually rule out a significant number of them because of this weird little new light situation that I stumbled upon, or at least maybe other people have talked about and I don't know about it, but it was news to me, so I guess I will share that with you. So let's go to their official announcement, see what that says, and then I'll tie everything together. So after they give the names, it says, both brothers are anointed Christians who have long history of loyal service to Jehovah. Brother Flegel began his full-time service in 1989 and Bethel service in 91. Flegel has served as a helper 
to the service committee of the governing body, which we saw in that list. Uh, same thing with Jeffrey Winder. He was a helper to the personnel committee of the governing body. Now, when I read that, it immediately took me back when they said that they were anointed and serving on these committees to a watchtower that was made back in 2015, which it gave another list of all of the uh, helpers that were the helpers to the governing body. But it said something in there that I found surprising. Let me show you that now. So this is an article from 2015, uh, and it talks about keep holding men of that sort dear. And it says, since 1992, the governing body has appointed experienced, mature Christian elders to help its committees carry out their work. These helpers from among the other sheep provide valuable support to the governing body. So now we have a precedent here where it's saying specifically that the people that were serving from 1992 all the way up until 2015 on any of these committees was a member of the other sheep. Now, we have, remember, if you want to be a governing body member, you have to be an anointed Christian. So later on, uh, at the end of the very short article, it gives a full list of names and back in 2015 of people on those committees. So my brain says... We know for a fact, according to Watchtower's own words, that up until 2015, all of the people on this list were not already spirit-anointed Christians that would be receiving the heavenly reward part of the 144,000. No, these had to be people that were of the other sheep. So, do we find Jeff or Gage on this list, or for that matter, the other most recent appointee to the governing body in 2018, after this article was produced, uh, Kenneth Cook, uh, we don't. They aren't on this list. And I think that actually solves sort of a problem I was having in my head about why when they appoint a new governing body member does it seem that they just come out of nowhere, like we don't really know who they are or haven't seen them too much. And I think I've stumbled upon the reason why. Now, when the announcement came for Kenneth Cook, the previous newest member of the governing body, happened in 2018, we get sort of a change, uh, and that is because it says that he had served as a helper to the writing committee. So we know that this must have changed somehow between 2015 and 2018, Watchtower uh, unofficially said, okay, you don't have to be just a member of the other sheep if you want to serve on any of these committees. And I think it explains why they chose someone that was only on that committee, because we know for a fact then, and he wasn't on that list back in 2015, so he could have only been on the committee for maybe like two years, and yet he was the one that was picked. So he would have been one of the youngest ones or newest ones, but they couldn't have chosen anyone that was back on that 2015 list. Now you might be thinking, well, Wally, couldn't someone just say, well, back in 2015, I was amongst the other sheep. And now here a few years later, I realize that I have a heavenly calling. What would be so wrong about that? Well, the galaxy brains that run Watchtower have this hilarious ability to come up with the dumbest, strangest, and just silly rules about every single little detail, and it backs them into these fascinating corners. So let me give you a quick little history lesson. Uh, again, for those of you that don't know, these anointed or the other sheep, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that only 144,000 will go to heaven and everyone else will be of the other sheep and, and they'll inherit the earth. Now, they also have this reading of the scripture in Matthew where it talks about uh, this generation will not pass away before all these things take place. For their entire history, they've always taught that that generation was referring to the anointed Christians. There was a weird time in the 90s and early 2000s where they went away from that, but in 2008, they switched back. Now, 
something that Watchtower did because it really helped feed their narrative was they would publish how many uh, supposed memorial partakers, those that actually drink the glass and eat the bread whenever they have their yearly observance, uh, only people that are of that anointed class can do that. So they would always report exactly how many. And for years when they did this, it made the end seem closer. Because of the scripture about the generation, it would be logical to assume that that number of anointed Christians would continue to go down, 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 down as the end got closer. And that's exactly what it did. So you had the number of Jehovah's Witnesses going up, the number of the memorial partakers going down. And this fed into their sort of doomsday narrative that the end was right around the corner. And in uh, the 90s, the number sort of stabilized around 8,000 or give or take a few hundred. And that was pretty much the status quo for some time. Now, when they went and changed that generation teaching, it essentially opened the door for new people to start claiming that they are one of these spirit-anointed people. And in 2008, we see a steady increase now. So over the last few years, we've just seen an increase, 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 increase of those claiming to be part of the... I think I just spit on my camera. Right. Looking good. Yes, of those claiming to be of that 144,000 anointed class. So, what did Watchtower do in response to this? Because this is the key and how they got themselves into trouble. They had a lot of people talking about it. They, you know, why is the number of memorial partakers going up? For years, I lived my life as a Jehovah's Witness and uh, it was a sign of the times that it was going down. Does this mean that Armageddon's farther away now? That the number is going up? And Watchtower, in a move of absolute just brilliance, <laughs> pointed the finger at everyone else. They had, you know, publicly shit their pants and looked around at everyone, you know, laughing at them. Then they said, it's not us, it's you guys. So here's what they said uh, recently when it comes to why the number of the memorial partakers was going up. Unlike Jehovah, the brothers who count the number of those partaking at the memorial do not know who truly is anointed. So the number includes those who think they are anointed but are not. For example, some who used to partake later stopped. Others may have mental or emotional problems that make them believe that they will rule with Christ in heaven. Clearly, we do not know exactly how many anointed ones are left on earth. So because Watchtower hilariously pointed the finger and said, you guys are crazy, we're not crazy, you are all crazy, even though it was clearly the number was going up as a result of their doctrine changing, they called out everyone else and said, you guys are emotionally and mentally unstable. You guys all have problems. So clearly, uh, we can't really account for that number. Only Jehovah really knows. Well... That means that anyone that was on that 2015 list and that people can look at and say, oh, I know for a fact that they were of the other sheep. And then later on, they say, oh, well, here in the last couple years, I realized that I'm one of the anointed ones. One of those recent ones that Watchtower called mentally unstable. Je Jehovah's Witnesses would put this together. They would absolutely put all this together and say, Wait, hold on, what's what's going on here? Now, these new governing body members are apparently these emotionally unstable people? These are the people that Jesus is choosing to lead his people? They would definitely start asking those questions, and that would be a big problem for Watchtower. And I guarantee Watchtower knows this. Someone at Bethel put all of this together and said, whoops, I guess... We can't have anyone that was on that 2015 list. I know that was a bit long-winded, and I hope I made it clear and it made sense, because I think I've sort of stumbled upon a really interesting new dynamic when it comes uh, going forward with Watchtower, about how a lot of the people that we're familiar with, that we see on the broadcast very regularly, that have been serving in these positions for decades, are never going to be governing body members because they're sort of 
soft locked out of it because not soft locked, they're hard locked out of it because that because of the articles that Watchtower produced. So thank you so much for joining me for this special new announcement coverage. I hope you did find it very interesting. Uh, if you're still around, don't forget to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you next time.